it's actually about a woman who revels in her sexuality in the 80s to me um you see any of the movies which we call adult they always about men they never about women so that's why i call it a brave film because it's about a bold woman it's about a woman who in the 80s in her own um slightly innocent if or extremely aggressive way challenged the male domination in a film industry the south film industry where male worship is almost a part of it and yet she wasn't treated very well she was she was objectified she was but she did it so she knew she was being objectified and exploited and she openly did she it but now that has we actually, don't know what choices she had no, i don't <clears> talk about only uh, one woman I'm no i know you various women of that time there was somebody called silk somebody called nylon what names to give women nylon silk they are women and guess what in 6 months 8 months of them being there suddenly actors are now thinking twice about releasing their films opposite these women because they threatened this male domination by becoming so powerful that people actually entertained enter to watch their sexuality over the male brawn let's start with why did you choose vidya now that's a bigger question why did okay you why did you choose vidya see i i didn't want to make her a victim so i was very clear there can't be a sad story it has to be entertaining and fun and, and, and celebration and it should be a celebration of her life i have to feel like i felt for sultan mirza for her i mean she sh- it should be like the men should feel like oh man what has happened this woman comes and challenges us so it has to be full of a plomb and drama and it should be heroism in a woman heroism if you call it at the same time i wanted a woman who's not who won't trivialize the film and so i thought of with you and only with you there was, was no like, there was no doubt about I anyone this film. i was very clear then you go to her She, and you say okay you need to be in these amrapali outfits and play this sort of soft porn kind of character she was like very scared she was like oh. i said i said you know when a monster is made and a charlie theron does it she says no i am going to be putting uh at risk my so many years of image building that i've done i said did you build that image for a reason she said no i said it just happened I said, then do something which is brave because that should be the biggest part of your image that you're brave. Did you reassure her in some way, saying I'll <clears throat> ensure that you are looked after and you're sort of? She didn't need it. Once I said that to her, she didn't need it. I think she got most comfortable with my director Miller, and being with a man who is willing to understand the woman beyond her skin, through her skin, beyond her skin. मतलब कि you look at her, you see her sexuality, and then you penetrate to her mind. Wow. But this role of playing godmother of convincing people has, whether you willingly or unwillingly, come to you from day one. You know, I'm like with tired, all the, you know, I'm with all the hate. Actor. I'm trying my best to get rid of this uh, older image that I have. I'm not talking about older. I'm talking about sort of people, you know, wannabe actors, aspirations, all of that coming to you and you making and breaking dreams of people. I'm just making. Do you it. enjoy that? I don't. I'm really, I'm, I'm scared. I get stalked. I get issues. I have to have bodyguards wherever I go because you see what happens is at one time you enjoy it when you're younger. You say like, ah, oh, wow, the power yeah, of the it. Power yeah. of it all. Later on, you realize you're doing your job. No one really is grateful. Years pass. Everyone forgets. So you're like doing your job and you're doing it only for yourself, not expecting gratitude afterwards. But you get blamed for people who don't become stars. Like you don't cast someone and they can bitch you out because you didn't cast them. So there's always another side to it all. And have you ever abused this power, mm. knowingly or unknowingly? Unknowingly, maybe. Knowingly, no. Has there ever been a couch? Nah, I don't. I would hate myself if I had a couch. I mean, clearly, this kind of couch is okay. <laughs> but uh, honestly, between you and me, I think I'm hot enough. 